Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add the SharePoint to File Explorer in 2024. So we're simplifying your file management experience by adding a SharePoint to File Explorer. This integration allows you to access and organize your SharePoint files seamlessly from your local File Explorer. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial on how to add it. So let's make your file management even more convenient and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will have to go or to begin, open your SharePoint site in your preferred web browser. For me, in this video, I will use Brave Browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. And navigate to the document library or specific location you want to access through File Explorer after you open your SharePoint sites. Of course, if you don't know any SharePoint sites as an example, so let's look online. So SharePoint, uh, or yeah, I'll just type this SharePoint sites to use. Let's see. So they're giving us 15 modern SharePoints uh site to use or examples for 2024 as an example why sharepoint of course internet of course if you want to read those top sharepoint tips an example so we have here some formations and they start giving us like the apps i guess so so let's go here and of course you can start like c what's about sharepoint so let's just go to sharepoint it seems like there is a website of sharepoint let's go to sharepoint.com take us to microsoft of course you can always go back and type just share like points of course you'll have to type it together so there are of course three ways to use that of course you can first of all use sharepoint so you'll have to sign in into your account on sharepoint of course uh, access denied and on why so anyway you'll have to go and log in into your account on SharePoint and in SharePoint you'll find the sync option just go and click on that sync button on upper side uh, bar task bar as an example and then the data will be synced to your PC automatically and uh, you will even after that you will be prompt to launch OneDrive so you should open in it after that you can turn to file explorer on your computer to see if the data is displayed under the one drive basically as an example let me just open the file explorer so you once it is like synced you'll find one drive in here and you will find the sharepoint of one drive here on your file explorer with the files that you synced from sharepoint on your microsoft as an example let's see i don't know yeah I, it seems like i don't know if i have it in here in my computer so let's just go to sharepoint and yeah, so I don't have it. It will just open it on Microsoft, which is the same link in here. But of course, this is like just the first way on to how to do it. However, uh, you cannot link like SharePoint to Windows Explorer via the sync feature. Since SharePoint is not syncing sometimes, in this case, you can open the map network drive. How can you do that? Go and open the file explorer again and go to this PC, right click onto that, and here you will find this map network drive. Go and click on that. And as you can see in here, now you'll have to choose the local drive you plan to use and enter the URL of your SharePoint online document library. Now, as you can see, choose the drive. What network will, uh, would you like to map? Choose the drive, the folder. As an example, let's use this network, why not? And what you'll need to do, you can choose to reconnect at sign in or connect using different credentials option based on your own requirements. After that, hit the finish button and you will get a login prompt. Of course, by doing so, your SharePoint can be mapped as a new network drive. And now you can access SharePoint online document library from File Explorer. So, an example, I'll just go here and give it an A. And the folder, I'll browse through like network. Why not? Or you can, I'll just go here, 
type downloads or I don't know, I'll just name it SharePoints. Why not? And as I said, just go and choose whatever settings you want, reconnect a sign-in or connect using different credentials, whatever suits you. You can even do both. Connect to a website that you can use to start your documents and pictures. If you click on it, as you can see, uh, welcome to add network location. If you don't have one already, if you have it, that's cool. If you don't, just go and choose that. So here, specify the location of your website. Type the address of your website, FTP site, or network location that is shortcut will open. So you can enter that uh, in here, like HTTPS, two dot, two slashes. I don't know, maybe it's www dot Google. Let's say it's Google, this is your website or something like that. Make sure it's FTP sites. Then click on next. And of course, like it's google.com is not. So I just like try to show you how it's going to look like. Then as I said, click on finish. Windows cannot access SharePoint. Click, uh, check the spelling of the name. Otherwise, there might be a problem with your network. So try to identify and resolve network problems. Click on diagn uh, diagnosis to see. So if you click on it, of course, you'll be able to see uh, and see what's about. I'll click on learn more and see if there is any problem in there. So I don't know, just you know, loads or something like that. Click on finish. It's still the same problem. But of course, that's because I don't have where to host it. As I said before, like I will need to connect it to a website or something like that. Now we can go as an example to the way three, or which is link SharePoint to File Explorer via Multi Cloud. So that's what I was going to use in the first option, which is Multi Cloud SharePoint sites. Uh, when I try to find like the best. Uh, SharePoint sites. I expected to find this Milt Cloud. It's because it's very known. Of course, you can see the pricing in here. An example, they have a free plan if you want to get it. So click on Get Started to create an account. You can look create an account with Google if you want to, and continue. And here's an example. You can sync your Google Photos to a PC right away. And as an example, as you can see, you can add the cloud, and you can use FTP to add the SharePoint in here. And connect it to a website right away or you can use it on OneDrive or something like that in SharePoint online as you can see you'll be able to add a lot of things that you want so for you will have to register to account then click on SharePoint online and they will ask you of course to log in into your account so make sure to go and log into one then once you log in into your account, you'll find your uh, documents in there. On the taskbar, click on download or go to communication site document. Then click on download. And basically after that, you can go back to your uh, file in here. Go to your file explorer. And then you can go to home as an example. And then uh, right click, of course, and you can pin it to quick access. To add the quick access to quick access toolbar button, and this way you can access the SharePoint data from File Explorer in the quick access right away. And of course, this is if you want to use this multi cloud, which is very very good. It gives you like five gigabytes of a cloud, so you can use it if you want to, or you can use SharePoint right away if you have, of course, the Microsoft plans. So that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.